being myself, accepting myself If no one calling me beautiful, I said it myself Yeah, cause it is time that we should face this Doesn't matter if a man is but the two races He could rap both races to the fullest Haters saying otherwise, they evidently clueless I'm biracial and I'm proud You know what's funny? They would like you to believe I'm their preference But that's just triangulation See, my baby father used to do the same thing to me. He'd be like, oh, I prefer Spanish women. I prefer black women. They do the same thing to all of us. So when they get around you, it's, oh, I, I love the white girls. Oh, I love... They're going to do it to any group they're around. They're going to compare it to another woman to triangulate you and make you feel bad. That's just manipulation. We are not their preference. We're just a trophy that they say, hey, I got a white girl. But they just abuse us and mistreat us and don't take us seriously. We're just sex objects. And we're just there to flaunt around and maybe get ahead. And then they think white women have money so they can try to use them for their money and status and shit like that. And to be more accepted around white men. <laughs> but yeah, no, they do the same thing to me. Um, like when my, my ex would abuse me in front of, in public and I'd be asking for help, he would go up to the black and be like, no, she's a white girl trying to lie on me. And get me arrested. I ain't do nothing. You know these white women. You know these white women. You can't trust them. She's trying to take a black man down. And you know, black women will fall for that too. But he will switch sides. Anytime it was convenient, one minute it's, I love Spanish women. One minute, I love white women. The next minute, I hate white women. One minute, this is what I get for getting with a white woman. I should have never got with a white woman. Then they turn on you and they recruit a bunch of flying monkeys who are going to support the narrative and be so quick to comfort him. Like, yes, baby. You know you shouldn't have got with them white women. Come here. Come here, abusive, narcissistic, psychopathic man. You, you know you're better with me than a white woman. You know I can treat your narcissistic, abusive ass way better than that white woman could. It's all manipulation. Trust me, we are not their preference. Plenty of black men told me, oh, I thought white women smelled like baloney and y'all look like raw chicken and basically are disgusted to even mess with a white woman, make fun of each other for dealing with a white woman and make it seem like it's literally the scum of the earth thing to do. It's just novelty. So don't believe the triangulation. It's all manipulation that they just say to make every bitch feel inferior to each other. When in reality, they're the ones that feel inferior inside. They just have to put women down to make themselves feel high up. Race is actually an illusion. <laughs> Racism was created the same way the gender system was created, to create oppression and a power dynamic. And a hierarchy. That's what it is. My ex tried to get with her, and her ex tried to get with me. That shit don't fucking matter, bro. This is true. This, is this, true. Much is true. this shit don't matter, bro. This true. Their preference yeah, is up. pussy. You know what's hilarious? Is now even their preferences are starting to call you all out on your bullshit. Even though she claims she's not a preference, she actually is. She is a white woman, an outsider looking in and has no clue how deep this really goes, how far and twisted this rabbit hole really is. But what she is finding out is she gets the same old Dusty, the same old Kang that black women get. Maybe she thought that she would get a different outcome because she's white. But nope, you get the same old Kang. See, what makes you a preference is your white skin, is the fact that you're not black. And these Kangs hate themselves so much that they can't fathom having a child that looks like them. They know that the black womb is a direct threat to the image they want to create of themselves. And they feel getting with a preference gives them access. They don't seem to understand that at the end of the day, no matter who you're with, you're still just a king. And it's no small wonder y'all are starting to go overseas. A lot of you hood boogers are starting to discover passports for the first time. Even though passports have been around fucking forever. You want to get online and throw your passport in the air like it's something new. You'll act like it's some accomplishment to have a fucking passport. When literally anybody can get a passport. I mean, that's how dumb you fuckers look. But since your preferences are catching on to y'all's bullshit, and they're calling you out like that woman did, y'all need to go someplace else, to a third world country, where they're new to your bullshit. And your little bit of McDonald's dollars goes a long way there. I mean, it makes perfect sense while the passport bro movement 
is so strong right now. Because even your preferences in America don't want your ass anymore. Even your preferences see you for the destructive, manipulative kings that you are. This is a comment from that same video. At this point, I believe that their preferences are other men. And the white woman that did that video, her response was, yes, you got it. My ex was definitely bisexual. And haven't I been talking about this on my YouTube channel? That a lot of these kings actually hate women. They jump from woman to woman to woman, have a bunch of kids by several different baby mothers. They never settle down, never get married, and use their relationships with women as a cover for what they really are, to keep themselves in the closet. And the fact that this preference was telling you her ex was definitely bisexual proves my point. He was using her to keep himself in the closet. All the while, the guy that he was supposedly playing Call of Duty with <laughs> was actually the guy he was digging in some duty with, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Be careful out there, sisters. Even their preferences are calling him out. I have so many unanswered questions